Hey everybody, Bezat here, back again with Risa. Hey everyone. And today we've got another gene to tell you all about. It's the brand new MIJ10 Okayama Spirit, the latest release, part of the Naked and Famous Denim Made in Japan collection. As always, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about them, all the specs, all the details, how they came to be, some AS ASMR scratch tests, some other stuff probably. Mm -hmm. Anyways, stick around all the way to the end of the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Risa's gonna get us started off with the specs right after this intro. So, MIJ10 Okayama Spirit is a 16 ounce Japanese salvage denim, and it is an Ansan Forest denim, but it has been tempi treated, which means that you don't have to worry about the crazy shrinkage of Ansan Forest denim, but you get to enjoy the texture of Ansan Forest denim. And how does that work? Right. So, basically, they take the garment, they take the jean, and they soak it, and they hang dry it. So this process removes the starch, it removes the shrinkage, you get to enjoy that unsam fries texture, you don't have to worry about the, you know, the 5 to 10% shrinkage, size up, size down, shrink, you know, confusion that comes along with unsam fries jeans. Now, this is a shrink process that happens on the garment itself, not to be confused with samphorization. Samphorization is a shrink process that goes on the fabric itself. So basically, they'll take the fabric, it runs through a set of hot rollers, and it heats up the fabric, it compresses the fabric, there's some water and fire and steam involved, and it shrinks the fabric to about a shrinkage rate of 1-3%. to Whereas an unsamphorized denim that doesn't go through that process has a shrink rate of like 5 to 10%. So mm -hmm. sizing becomes very difficult. But the beauty of an unsamphorized denim is the fact that it doesn't get compressed, mm -hmm. right? So an, a samphorized fabric usually is a little bit flatter. Unsamphorized fabrics, much hairier, mm -hmm. much more texture. Mm -hmm. But then you have to deal with that shrinkage. We get rid of that shrinkage with mm -hmm. the Tempe treatment. And when you take a look, a real close look at this fabric, you'll notice just how textured it is. I mean, mm -hmm. this is the signature detail of the Okayama Spirit. When you take a close look at it, you'll see just how bumpy it is. And this is actually a result of many, many different things all happening at the same time. First, the fabric is made using a slub yarn. Mm -hmm. So as many of you may know, or, uh, or at least if you've been watching these videos for a long time, you might know that slub yarns are thick yarns that are irregularly spun. They're thick in some parts, they're skinny in the others, and when you dye this yarn, the thick parts take in more indigo, the skinnier parts take in less indigo. So that itself, when you weave with it, you get all these different variations. You get these high and low points throughout the fabric. Then, this fabric is woven on shuttle looms, but not, not just in an ordinary fashion. They actually set the machines to run really slow. Mm -hmm. So this creates the something called loom chatter, which makes the machines shake and rattle a little bit extra. And so it makes the weave even more loose and irregular. Mm -hmm. So that adds to the texture. And then the tempi treating, mm -hmm. it washes away a little bit of that indigo. So even within that, you get varying hues of blue right from the start. So very, very textured, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I think I might've forgot to add, that this is the 10th iteration of the MIJ, mm -hmm. but it's also the 10 year anniversary of the Okayama Spirit. The original Okayama Spirit, That's which right. was released in 2013. Right. 10 years ago. Yeah, so if you've been a fan of Naked and Famous long enough to remember the Okayama Spirit, this is the first time it's ever been redone. Mm -hmm. And if you're a newer fan of Naked and Famous, this is your first time to experience the original. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that we have it in the MIJ form with all the crazy MIJ details. Right. And the, the Tempe treatment, I just want to add that adds to the fabric because the, the water plumps up the yarns mm -hmm. too. So it's even more slubby. It's even oh, yeah. more textured. Yeah. Which is a beautiful yeah. fabric. You'll, you'll notice like knots and bumps, like they're, <laughs> they're pretty 3D. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, I know you can't touch it. You can see the pictures, but you gotta hear you gotta hear this denim. So let's let's hit the ASMR test. Yeah, it's got the bass. Yeah, <laughs> deep bass, <laughs> scratchy. This is a heavy. This is a bad boy right here. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is gonna be a jean you're gonna enjoy a lot. It's gonna fade beautifully mm -hmm. and. We actually did a fade review video a while back on the original Okayama Spirit. Check that out. I'll link it in at the end of the video and you'll see just how beautifully this denim can fade. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, there's a reason why the Okayama Spirit created its own series, right. you know, uh, multiple iterations over the years. It's because yeah. of just how impactful 
this denim was when it came out mm-hmm. and how beautifully it fades. Mm-hmm. I just want to add one last time yeah. of the like the beauty of Tempe treatment mm-hmm. is that that like it's it's been rinse washed but it's not soft. Right. They kind of keep that the Tempe treatment with the the hanging outside kind of part makes the fabric crunchy again. Yeah. It still feels raw. Mm-hmm. It still feels crisp. So, yeah, it's not like washing it at home in your washing machine and, you know, drying them. That usually softens up a fabric. Mm-hmm. The way they do it at our factory in Japan, it really keeps it raw feeling. Right. So very, very happy to uh, report that. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, let's get into the details you're going to find on all of our MIG jeans and, of course, this pair as well. And we'll start off right here on the back pocket. You'll notice the maple leaf embroidery. This is our signature detail of our MIG jeans mm-hmm. on the regular Naked and Famous Denim collection. There are no embroideries uh, on the back. You'll only find these on the uh, MIJ series here. Uh, you've got the two-tone stitching. Mm-hmm. You'll notice it on the back pocket, two different colors. You'll also notice it on the belt loops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. the leather patch right here. It, it, it is kind of a thinner leather patch yeah. compared to what we use, but the texture is beautiful. It's a sheepskin leather patch, yeah. and it has the our MIJ girl logo, so she yeah. is a manga-style Japanese yeah. uh, girl. We call, it, we call it the flower of carnage, mm-hmm. right? Uh, speaking, I, I mentioned the belt loops earlier. Another detail about the belt loops is that it is a folded over belt loop, so you have this extra bump in the center mm-hmm. so that it'll fade even more. So there's even more fade opportunities in this denim. Mm -hmm. Really, when it comes to the MIJ series, no small detail was overlooked. If we could have stuck that detail in, it went in. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we'll we'll talk about another, like, small detail with the selvage fly. So even on the back of the fly, you have that selvage detail. Uh, On the buttons, they are 100% iron. So these are going to oxidize and fade over time, which is quite beautiful. So the denim fades, the hardware fades, yeah. The, if, if you have ever seen like vintage jeans they find in like the mines yeah. from decades ago, like you see the rusted um, buttons because the, back then all the buttons are made with iron. Right. Whereas nowadays, like it's not very common. You yeah. Don't see that. Very it, often. It'll be actually an interesting way to date jeans in the future. You know, a hundred years from now when they're, they're finding these old jeans. And they'll look at a pair of, you know, more modern jeans that are that are not made with iron hardware. The denim may have faded, but the hardware won't be as rustic looking mm-hmm. as like a real iron uh, hardware would be. Right. So I think it's a cool detail. And yeah, and anyhow. I cut you off, but the yeah. the the rivets are made with um, copper, hundred percent copper. So they are gonna oxidize and like make you know turn into a little greenish color. Right. Yeah. yeah. And another thing is that we have hidden copper rivets on the back pockets as well. So you have these rivets that you see on the inside that you don't see on the outside. Um, we have peekaboo selvage ID mm-hmm. on the coin pocket. And another fun selvage detail is the outseam. So when you flip up the cuff and you look inside, we have something called a micro-busted outseam. Usually on most selvage jeans, you'll see that's a little bit wider. We did it a little bit more narrow. It's a little bit more difficult to do, but uh, we think it's a fun detail, especially when you roll up your cuff and you show off your selvage ID, and yours is just a little bit different than everybody else's. And uh, finishing off the hem, we have that Union Special Chain Stitch hem. So over time, that hem is going to kind of twist, Mm -hmm. and you'll get that nice roping effect on the hem there as well. So more fading, more fading opportunities all over this denim. Beautiful fading fabric. And then we have just the construction details that add on top of that. So Mm -hmm. a really top-notch Right, it's jam-packed with all the vintage details, all the the nerdy little details, and we spared nothing. We spared nothing. Mm -hmm. That's the MIJ series in a nutshell, sparing nothing. Now, these are going to be available in our three main menswear fits. So you've got the super guy, you've got the easy guy, you've got the weird guy. We also have it available in the denim jacket here, which I'm wearing right now. Um, Now, when it comes to denim jackets, I always like to say, you know, go rock the Canadian tuxedo if you want. Uh, I'm cool with that, but I always find it for a lot of folks who might be hesitant for, for that, it's easier to pair it up with maybe a contrasting jean, like mm-hmm. in a crude denim or maybe a duck canvas or something like that. Throw it on and you can have you can enjoy the MIJ fabric uh, in another way. You know, sometimes you've got a couple of, uh, couple of pairs of jeans you might be sitting in your closet waiting to work on. If you want to enjoy this fabric in a different way, we've got the jacket avail for, yeah. available for you as well. Yeah, and yeah. the jacket also has the 100% iron buttons and the maple leaf and yeah. all that 
details. Yeah, selvage on the inside. So a lot of beautiful details on the mm -hmm. jackets as well. Inside pockets and outside pockets. A lot of pockets on these jackets. So, um, okay, with that said, these are going to be available at select naked and famous denim retailers worldwide. We've got a blog post linked right here in the description below uh, with a full retailer availability listing, including all the fits that they have. So go and support your local retailer. And did I forget anything? I think that's it. Oh, wait. No. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> And join us on Friday oh, yeah, 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 live that's streams. It. That's it. So uh, join us every Friday evening right here on YouTube for our weekly live stream. Uh, we preview all kinds of new product, including upcoming MIJ jeans, which haven't been announced anywhere else. So uh, if you're if you're a, a follower of our live streams, you already know about it. But if you if you aren't, you got to tune in and you'll you'll see all kinds of crazy new previews. So uh, with that said, with that said. Uh, I think I said everything. Mm -hmm. You said everything? I think so. Okay, so we'll leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you guys in the next video. All right, Thanks, bye, everyone. Guys.